Hello everyone, this is Scott from the DLExposition.com. Today we're looking at ILO, ILO system mechanic, I think the tower we're going to say. And it's basically an all-in-one PC optimization, very similar to, uh, as we've already, very similar to Advanced System Care. Advanced System Care is a wonderful little tool that allows you to optimize your PC to top performance. This is one that's very similar to it. The company claims it that it has more tools that may and more useful tools than that of advanced system care. But uh, let's do that real quick. We're going to perform a, a, d a deep analysis, which is basically what it's going to do is it's going to go in and scan. You know what? We're going to cancel this real quick. I'm going to show you guys the quick settings real quick. Automated task. These are things that will be handled automatically. The system will automatically handle these, and we're going to go over them real quick. Uh, it'll start up configuration. It'll eliminate unneeded startup items. Optimize your internet settings to improve your internet speed. Optimize your system drive. That will cut out some of the fragmentation issues. Uh, recover unused memory. It'll basically help with memory. It'll delete the items. Very similar to the memory booster in I in advanced system care. And it'll automatically defragment and compact your registry. This is also in advanced system care. Your repair will repair core data conflicts. Uh, that's the software and hardware to exchange critical information. Repairing corruption within the system can help. That's one I haven't seen before. Repair your registry. It'll delete registry items. Uh, broken shortcuts. It'll delete broken shortcuts. Repair your internet connection. It can help delete broke programs that may be interfering with your internet connection. Automatically repair hard drive errors will repair hard drive errors that may be happening which are basically when certain sectors of your hard drive are having are causing crashes it's going to go in find the issue and try to fix it and zero it so that way it'll load properly secure it'll automatically repair security vulnerabilities this is going to help with installing uh, your secure it's going to help keep your PC up to date uh, it'll automatically back up your registry every two weeks. This is a great tool because backing up your registry in case you do something stupid, it's very common. You've installed a piece of software and your computer froze up afterwards. It generally has something to do with your registry. If you back up your registry, all the registry changes that it would have made no longer exist when you put the new one in. But it also means anything useful you would have installed also would not really be there. This will clean up your junk files and automatically download and install tune-up definitions. It'll keep tune up, the system tune-up from the latest threats in PC speed and performance. It'll basically keep it from looking for the rogue programs. It'll keep it up to date on the junk file clean and everything else. Real-time optimization. Uh, OptiCore automatically improves your, your CPU. Your RamJet will keep your RAM running clean from uh, getting rid of unnecessary items. And Excel Write, it will automatically optimize your file storage. Your internet security, it'll check for your certain malware. Uh, it, this basically will come in here and look at your anti malware service, see if it's running properly, if it's running at all. You can turn it off, you can view more information about it, refresh. You got a few hours, stays. Excuse me, you can come over here. Third party antivirus has been detected. You can get the, the professional version, which will allow you to do a lot more. I didn't think that would happen, but right here System Shield, triple certified antivirus and anti spire per solution that won't slow down. It's basically another plugin for the company. Not a bad thing by any means. I, it can get annoying if it's spammy and it gets in the way of everything, but I haven't seen that. Um, our firewall, it'll make sure that your firewall is running and we'll pop up the window to go into the settings and you can refresh your firewall, turn off the firewall monitoring and do very simple things. Your toolbox contains all your special tools, your all-in-one PC total care, your specialized tools will keep your registry clean and organized free of errors with this all-in-one solution and backup, you know, security stuff, very simple actually, it's pretty much straightforward. Right here is individual, you can go into maximize your performance with the following tools these are basically all the tools that are in the auto care and in the scanning but they actually apply but, but they, they, they're, they, you just do one of them at a time as opposed to doing an entire scan so if you believe a certain error is going on you can check that but here we go we're gonna actually do a quick perform a quick analysis and then 
we're going to see what it does, and we're going to have it fix it. As you can see, it kind of gives you the error, and apparently I'm flatlining. That's bad. If you know anything about doctors, then you would know. Oh, see? See, we're good. All right. Eight problems are lowering your systems overall. Let's see these problems, shall we? Computer has 264 core conflicts with the Windows communication infrastructure. Uh, software and hardware exchange critical implementation. Okay. 132 registry issues, and your computer has 231.16 megabytes of clutter. I like that word. I don't know why. All right. We're going to tell it to fix all these issues because it can. It's very similar to advanced system care. I don't like the user interface that much. It's kind of outdated. It looks a little Windows XP to me. I like how that's become its own term, Windows XP. Like, okay, you know what? I tried, people. I tried to make a pun. You know, wait, what am I doing? Back to what I was trying to do. Windows XP. <laughs> it looks a little Windows XP like, um, meaning that there's just a lot of stuff that it, it just doesn't look up to date. Oh, we can restart it for some extra items. This will be. Your computer has a reliability score has dropped within the past 10 days, and it has four potentially unwanted startup items. It, 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 it's almost there. Okay, so let's review these real quick. Turn off. Turn off. This is, in theory, supposed to improve my startup time. Oh, wait, no, turn it back on. Apparently the community likes these being on. Okay. Oh, you see? We should keep it on. So the users say this, but it recommends that it doesn't need that. And your computer's reliability score. Okay, yeah. I can see. Malware bytes, yeah, caused that. That caused some issues, I'm not going to lie. It's fine. Alright. Now we're going to perform a deep analysis. A deep analysis is going to do the full package. It's going to scan for everything that it needs to find all the errors and fix them. After this, I'm going to restart it and notice if I can find any significant changes. I'm going to pause it right now while it performs the scan so that way you don't have to wait through this process because it, it can be quite lengthy. Alright everyone, I wanted to unpause this real quick to show you this. That's a, uh, it's going to scan for hard drive errors. This is long, so it's, it gave me a warning beforehand that says it's going to scan for the hard drive errors and then it's going to go in and it's going to do it because scanning for hard drive errors on across the entire hard drive can take a while luckily this is a virtual machine because I love doing everything in this little virtual machine it makes my life a lot easier and um, in theory we should see these changes coming soon so I'm gonna pause it right back while it continues to do its scan and then we'll be back at the end of it I just wanted to show you the warning that it does when it enters it all right, everybody, we're back, and as it's as you can see, it's finished the problems. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna do a quick view. It has more clutter that it can get rid of, and has 30, 31,000 misaligned files, 7.52 gigs, and 634 fragmented files. Okay, it the program has a lot of wonderful features. It has, but I can't validate that they're better than that of Advanced System Cares. It did have a driver scanner in there. It scanned for my drivers and it would report updates. In fact, we're going to do a quick test with that and we're going to compare it to that of Driver Booster from IOBit. And as we can see with IOBit's Driver Booster, they are all clean. It it has passed that simple test. So it seems to be on par with it, at least when it comes to this. Keep in mind that since this is a virtual machine, it has a lot less devices in it. However, it still can check for these, and it says that they're all up to date, which is good. They both compared and found 0, 1 in them, but I figured now the right thing to do would be to go in and actually see what it does at its restart. We're going to tell it to go in, and it's going to go through this. It says it's already cleaned out and optimized my hard drives. That's pretty amazing, considering it only had a couple seconds. But we're going to restart and let the repairs fix. Okay. So this is a common thing with computers is when they do a deep cleaning we've seen this with jump shot with, with grime fighter from avast that's what it's called now it would sedate your computer it would put it into a sleep like state where the files would okay apparently already solved 
were to go to a sleep like state to go in and just check out the files, clean up the errors, because if it does it before the computer is running, get it in that deeper level, because then it has to it doesn't have to deal with all the other processes on the computer and having to deal with everything else. I'm gonna say right now, I'm kind of impressed with some of the features that it has. I mean, this is right here. I kind of like. Um, this I really like right here. Prevent PC problems with daily care. That's a wonderful little tool right there. Um, because it gives you little tips. I, I love it when developers actually put those little tips in there somewhere, because the users are not always going to know what to do. The users are not always going to know how to use the software, and I like when Spybot tried to do it, but they didn't update those tips enough, and the user interface is black. The, the, the one thing I could suggest to this company is to fix the user interface, and I want... the. Eh, the internet security, it, 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 there should be something on par with IOBit system reinforced. That would be a good addition. It is essentially, it'll give me my Windows settings and give me the optimal settings for the maximum security of my PC. Other than that, I, I would say that this is probably on par with it. It's not quite so hands free. However, I kind of like these. Because this right here is interesting, and this right here is kind of interesting. It is, it, it's a pretty good software. And for those of you who are wanting to know whether they can get a hold of it, uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for three licensed keys to the system mechanic. Um, if you want to know how you can get them, Ooh, you want to if you want to get your hands on one of the three keys it's fairly simple but there is going to be competition of course it's going to be on the website and on the blog and it's going to be here about the giveaway so I mean if you want to get in there's going to be competition the main thing you can do is make sure that you're subscribed you comment and you follow us on as many services as you have I mean join the newsletter join our like our Facebook page follow us on Twitter follow us on as many sites that you have and then if you want contact us about it about the ones that you're following us on and we'll just pick one of the email addresses at random also if you register on the website you'll be far ahead of everyone else on that list if you can register on the site you'll be above everyone else and you'll be you'll be looking pretty good you may be that may be, be the big determiner you can also try referring your friends to us you can say oh well we got you blah 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 followers and you can prove to me that you actually know these people because when they like the page and you say oh I brought I told my friends about you and his name was blah 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 and he liked your page I'll be like oh really so you know this person because I'm the only one that can actually see the names that are being added recently so if you want to try and refer friends to us that'll be a big one I'm, I'll, I'm not quite sure when I'll announce the winner that'll be come up the winners that'll be in recent times but I want to give this as like a heads up start sharing share as many as our posts share as many of our posts as you can like us and follow us on as many pages as you can stay active and I will see you later thank you very much for watching and goodbye